Assalamu alaikum. My name is Shafin Ahmed. I have done a project named Combination Lab for my digital logic design course, and I will explain how my project works throughout this video. The components that was used for my project are four XOR gates, nine SPST switches, three NOR gates. 9 10 kilo ohm resistors 2 470 ohm uh, resistors 2 led 2 uh, sorry 3 uh, 10 volt source and uh, the four diodes are used in my project this is the schematic diagram i will explain how it how the whole circuit works throughout my simulation and uh, these are just the pointers uh, how my uh, project actually works so here is the simulation um, let me scale it up so that everything can be viewed so the concept is that these sets of switches there are four switches here uh, they are labeled as key code it means uh, the key or should I say the password is set uh, can be set from uh, within uh, with these switches right now it is set to 0000, zero, zero, zero. Uh, so the correct password is 0000, zero, zero, zero. and here th these are another set of switches here the user will uh, simply enter the code uh, or the password to unlock the circuit or to um, like this right now it's zero 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 so and uh, here there are four XOR gates each are connected uh, each of the input pins are connected to the key code section and the um, data code the data entry section so what is happening here is that all these four XOR gates are acting as a comparator so as we know for the comparator that the comparator takes two bit uh, two different bits and compares them and produces an output so uh, the thing is if the uh, by nature of XOR gate if the inputs are identical to each other it will uh, give an active low input uh, active low uh, output <coughs> output and if the uh, if the inputs are not identical to each other it will uh, give an active high output so when uh, so when the key code bit and the data entry bit are matched only then the output will uh, give uh, the XOR uh, will give an output of um, active low so and this diode network they are acting as a four input OR gate so when the output is active low from the XOR gate uh, the NOR gate takes that output and reverses it so if the output here is low means the code here the two key codes the key code and the data entry code are identical means they are matched so nor gate takes that uh, active low output uh, and then passes the signal to this probe uh, this led probe and this is a green led probe and this is a this is a red led probe the green uh, signals that it is, uh, the password is correct and the red signals that the password is incorrect and here this key space uh, this switch only uh, acts like an enter button so when uh, the when the user enters the key code here uh, uh, then they uh, enter the uh, code from just switching it on and then the signal will pass through here if this it is off then it will not pass through here so let me do a simulation so it can be understood 
so here is the simulation okay right now everything is off so my key code is the password is set to 0000, zero, zero, zero. so let me set it to like um, 1010 zero, and uh, if the user enters correctly so what is it 1010 zero, zero. so the user have to do is 1010 zero, zero. so it's a correct password so it means the green LED will light up so now enter here the green LED lights up so what if the password is incorrect so if we just switch it off the simulation and um, let's say the right now the password is set to 1010 zero, zero. so what if there is a mistake or an incorrect password so here it is now 1110 one, so right now if the user enters the data only the red light will uh, light up it means the it indicates that the password is incorrect so that is how this my circuit works and uh, thank you